Hey everybody, Wrench here. I thought I'd do another um, carrier script setup video because a lot of guys were still having questions about it and I figured I'd see if I could do a little bit better job. Uh, I do have to apologize still. Uh, still running on some backup audio equipment, but hey, what can you do? Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, as usual, the first thing we're going to do is throw down our carrier. Interestingly, from my previous run-through uh, prior to recording, it uh, has automatically populated the name Stennis, which is interesting. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll make it a capital S this time. All right, and stick that in the water anywhere. And then we have to uh, do a little bit more setup. Um, but let's make sure we copy whatever name we gave it. Uh, we're going to come over to Notepad++. Plus Plus in which I have the uh, script call stuff exactly as you'll see linked in the video description. So what I'm going to do is change unit 1 to Stennis. Uh, incidentally, I'm using Notepad++. Uh, not strictly necessary because we're just going to copy this out of here anyway, but uh, it's a nice convenient way, uh, thing to use. Um, so while we're in here, let's go ahead and set up our other variables. Um, we're going to use the launch and recovery cycle time, which I think uh, most guys are, are much more interested in than doing it based on distance. So distance just has to be any number. A convenient number happens to be 1. And then the cycle time is in minutes, so typically, you know, something about an hour would make sense. And then the last variable, tankers, we will uh, set up in a minute. So let's jump back over to DCS. Finish setting up our carrier. So uh, the only other thing we need is the triggered action. So this activate TACAN, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of because we don't need it. We're going to go to triggered actions, click add, go to perform command, activate TACAN, decide on what channel. He's at CVN 74, so we'll put 74. We'll put STN, short for Stennis, and then the unit will be the Stennis. That way you get uh, navigation, navigation information specifically to the aircraft carrier. So that's everything we need to do for the Stennis. So that is now set up. So let's go ahead and put in our tanker. So we're going to come down to an S3B tanker. Put that somewhere near the, uh, the carrier and then set it up. So I'm going to call this Tanker underscore one, sort of a callback to my old uh, uh, C plus days. All right, so we're going to then come in and set up his TAC amp. And I'll go with 42 X ray and the call sign TXO, since that default call sign is uh, Texaco. And then again, unit tanker one. Then we'll make sure that we copy the name, just to make sure we don't make any typos. Go back over to Notepad++, and we see that this is a table containing a string. So we leave the, the fancy brackets and the, the quotes there, and we just change the name. All right, so that is our completed function call. That is now ready to go. We'll go ahead and select the, uh, the text here and copy it, which we'll be using shortly. So the script requires uh, mist. Uh, oh, one uh, thing I forgot to do is I'm just going to have him spawn on the ramp so that he actually has to take off from the carrier and then I'm going to come over here and check late activation so it won't spawn until we spawn it with the script. Okay so I'm going to get this magnifier out of the way for a moment uh, just so I can see the screens. We'll go to new type at mission start then we'll go to uh, the conditions we don't have any obviously because it's going to run at mission start. The actions new do script file. Um, in this case, just because I happen to be in this directory, I'm going to load the carrier script first and then move it. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we do it that way, so we're going to do that. I'm going to hit the clone button. That way we now have two. Uh, and then the first one, I'm going to go ahead and click open. Go to my missions, scripts, mission scripting tools, which is just where I happen to store it. Wherever you store miss, just load it from there. So we have, uh, first we're loading mist, then we're loading the carrier script. I'm going to go new. Sometimes you have to reselect it in the, in the stack for some reason. So then new, do script, 
and this is where we're going to paste in that text that we loaded from uh, that we built in Notepad++ and copied over. And you can type it directly in here. Uh, I just find it's a little more convenient to just alt tab in and out. You know, to uh, to Notepad++, do what you got to do, and then alt tab back. So I'll go ahead and load the mission, and uh, next thing you see will be uh, us ready to go on the ramp. Okay, uh, one quick thing <laughs> almost forgot to do was actually to stick down an aircraft for us to occupy. Uh, sort of important. So F-18 player and uh, there it is. Let's take off from ramp just so the engines aren't spooling. I don't have to talk over the noise. Okay, so now we're going to load the mission and uh, I'll see when it's loaded. Alright, mission is loaded up. Let's go ahead and click fly. Let me bring my magnifier back in here just so you guys can a little more easily see some of the text that uh, that you get from the script. So I'm going to go ahead open the menu, go to F10 Other, Carrier Script, Stannis, and let's get the BRC for the Stannis. And we see that it's BRC is 182. So now let's, uh, let's get more information. Let's see what the carrier is actually doing. Let's see. So we'll hit uh, Query. And the, the Stannis is currently turning to 182. So it's not there yet. Let's have a look. And we see that it's currently turning. And it's at uh, three, four, one, and uh, and still turning. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn the tanker. Why not? So let's go other carrier script Texaco spawn Texaco. Let's have a look. Yep. And there he is. Now we can see our beautiful tanker is going to go ahead and spool up. All right, so I hope that clears up uh, some of your guys' questions and just makes your life a little bit easier. Um, like I said, I'll have that uh, that function call setup stuff in the uh, video description, and uh, using the magnifier, hopefully it'll be, it'll be a little bit easier to to see. And then, of course, you know, if I <coughs> change my <coughs> monitor resolution to match the video, <coughs> but <laughs> we won't go into detail on that. All right, so thanks much, guys, and uh, hopefully that uh, that makes your lives a little bit easier.